What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Fallout 4. In the last episode, we finally found the Mark 28 nuclear stockpile out in the glowing sea. The arsenal that we're going to need to fully arm Liberty Prime, which, from what I can tell, looks like it's just about done. But, we got to talk to Proctor Ingram, so let's do that first. All right. Ingram? Looks like the Mark 28s are going to do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. <laughs> it's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable are going to hold. Find out. Absolutely. Proctor, all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. It's just a button. By the way, it's not green, it's whatever. Liberty Prime, back online. Alright, let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command, accepted. Give him a moment, he needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module, online. Audio functionality test, initialized. Designation, Liberty Prime, Mark II. Mission, the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets, any and all red Chinese invaders. Now let me run a system analysis and a battle readiness check. Liberty Prime, full system analysis. All systems, nominal, weapons, hot. Warning. Nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning. Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. Got green lights across the board here. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. With him on our side, I don't see how the Institute even stands a chance. I couldn't agree with you more. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power arm. You think I'll need it for my next assignment? I don't know, but it never hurts to be prepared. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Liberty Reprimed is done. We got ourselves a level up. We need to head up to the Pridwin, but we should probably stick this medic pump onto our armor as well as actually, well, Give ourselves some upgrades. So why don't we head on in here, use that level up. And I'm going to use, let's see, you gain access to rank 3 armor mods. Armor. Cool. There we go. So we need to speak to Elder Maxon next and see what the heck is going on with him. Because I guess we have a new assignment on our hands. Fortunately, Dance isn't with us, so we'll have to worry about that a little bit later. But I'm going to hop out of my power armor here real quick, and then let's make a couple of adjustments. Okay, so, uh, as for... So I can upgrade everything to Model E if I want to. Um, let's see. There's the Medic Pump, so let's immediately attach that. Detects hits during combat and automatically uses stim pack when health is low. So let's get yeah, everything up to E one piece at a time. I'm also going to go in and repair everything here soon as well. There we go. 
beautiful. Okay. Repair everything. Hold on. Almost got all of it. I don't know why it keeps defaulting me down to the bottom. I think that's a little bit silly. Is that everything repaired? This one as well. Okay, there we go. Good. So now our armor is even sturdier than before. As if we couldn't already take a whole bunch of punches with this thing. Now I'm probably never going to have to worry about dying ever again. So let me dump off whatever junk I have left in here. And let's head on up to the Pridwin. Alright, Elder Maxon, let's talk. What mission do you have for me now? you wish to tell me, Knight? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. I find your ignorance awfully convenient. Proctor Quinlan completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the scents on that list. That's impossible. I'm afraid not. The evidence is quite damning. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a scent they called M797. To make matters worse, he's gone able, disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you and then swore you to secrecy. You have to believe me. He never told me he was a synth. <laughs> Apparently, I've misjudged you, which means I've decided to take you at your word. However, that doesn't absolve you of your duty. Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. Isn't there some other way? Absolutely not. My decision is final. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me. You're dismissed. Huh. Maxon, Maxon, Maxon. Well, I'm going to talk to Proctor Quinlan really quickly, but I don't know, man. I don't know about that one. Look, I get it. He's a synth. That's obviously a bad thing. That's a, that's a huge issue. It's a total conflict of interest. I get it. But here's the thing. We at least need to hear Paladin dance out. We at least need to know, does, does he even know? Also, did that cat just eat that newspaper? I, I don't even freaking know. I was told you were coming. Sorry about this business with dance. I don't want to talk about it. I understand. On to your orders then. I've been poring over dance's duty reports and unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify every location he's ever visited and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. You may want to get comfortable. This could take quite a bit of... What the hell is this crap about Dance being a synth? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? How did you hear about it? There are no secrets in the Brotherhood. Maxon's made it clear that we're to locate Paladin Dance, and if we find him, report his location to you. That can only mean you've been sent to hunt him down. I don't have time to discuss it right now, Halen. Why? In too much of a rush to pull the trigger? I can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you, you're just gonna turn your back on him like this. There's obviously been a mistake, 
and we need to get to the bottom of it. Scribe Halen, you're addressing a senior officer, and you will show him the respect that he's due. Or so help me, I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, unless you're here with information that can assist us, I suggest you return to the police station immediately. Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well, then. Would you care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Knight, if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertiberg gunship's computer. Change of heart, Halen? Just following orders, sir. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If you'll follow me, sir. I'm coming, Halen. I'm coming. Hopefully you are... I don't think she's okay with this. I was about to say, hopefully you're okay with this. She's not okay with this. There's no way she's okay with this. We got a lot to talk about. I would assume. Because, yeah, there's... No, no, I'm I'm not not down with this at all. Rich Rich ain't down with this. No one's down with this. You kidding me? This is ridiculous. I mean, I get it, but at the same time, he still is a part of the Brotherhood. There's no changing that. Am I crazy? I feel like that's a given at this point. Talk to me. Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? I haven't decided yet. Well, before you do, I need you to listen to what I have to say. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect, and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. Why are you telling me all of this? Because someone has to before you rush off and carry out Maxon's orders without thinking about what you're doing. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you, not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being, give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us, then you do what you have to do. All right, I'll hear him out. That's all that I ask. I'll just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right thing. Before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was listening post Bravo an old pre-war U.S. military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated, and we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Just be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now, or if he trusts any of us at all. Okay. We will head there. Now let's see, where is that going to take us exactly? Well, it appears to be all the way up here, not too far away from the slog and med tech research, kind of right directly in the middle of the two. So I think what I'll do is head to med tech, which I'm pretty sure there's a big parking garage with a bunch of ferals there that we're gonna be running into as soon as we get there. So that's gonna be fun to deal with, but we gotta track this guy down. We gotta make sure that he's okay. And we need to see what he thinks about the situation before we do anything. Okay, so are we in the clear? Everything good? Nothing's gonna attack us? I do see ferals, but I'm gonna try to go around so they don't actually chase me. Alright, so we're heading off to Listening Post Bravo. Which, uh, doesn't actually seem to be all that isolated. It's like, it's not that far from everything. I mean, it's probably, you know what, a few hundred yards from here? I don't know how the heck the Brotherhood doesn't know about this place, but... Whatever, I suppose. I have my gun out, but I hope I don't actually have to freaking use it here, because I can't imagine Dance is going to attack us. So, let's hearken back to Rich as a character for a second here before we go any further. Here's the thing about Rich. Rich is an asshole. He is very much about his own interests. That's the thing. 
He only joined the Brotherhood because it brings him glory, it gets him lots of gear and weapons, fame, notoriety, things like that. That is what Rich cares about. Brotherhood is beneficial to his own interests. Here's the other problem. Rich has made exactly one really good friend, and I would just say one sort of friend, a few, well, actually a few sort of friends within the Brotherhood, but one really good friend in all his time here in the Commonwealth. And, oh, great. Okay, hold on. Turrets, wasn't expecting that. Ow. Just a second. Get out of here. Okay, uh, one really good friend in all his time in the Commonwealth, and that really good friend is Paladin Dance. Listen, uh... Rich is happy to get himself a promotion and whatnot for taking Dance down, but let's just say that the benefits of doing so do not outweigh the cons here, not in the slightest. Even if he is to step back and take a look at this from a completely selfish angle, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to kill off the only person who showed him any empathy, gave him a chance, and was basically his in into the Brotherhood. So... We're going to do everything in our power to not go through with this here. I think that would be a very stupid decision from pretty much any angle, unless you are the absolute most blind Brotherhood soldier that could ever possibly exist. Why are there Protectrons alive in here, Dance? What the heck, dude? Unless you are the most blind Brotherhood soldier to ever exist, I can't understand how anyone would ever think that this is the right decision to absolutely, to walk in here and execute the guy. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Although, I don't know why he, I mean, I guess that would, you know, assuming that it was anyone else from the Brotherhood that is supposed to protect him, but whatever. Anyway, so we got, was it Dead Brahmin in here and stuff like that? There's a Skelly Man, but not really a whole lot else. I'm assuming Dance is right here. I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. I don't understand what's going on, Dance. Believe me, this is more of a shock to me than it is to you. I didn't know. Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? No, but I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that we're good friends, and this must be very difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else, but that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxon, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees, and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. The empathy that you're showing me, it's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've made my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. No. I won't do it, Dance. I can't believe you'd risk your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? You're the proof that Maxon's wrong. You're a synth, but everything you've done has been for the good of mankind. You're right. How could I have been so blind? I'm not technology that's gone out of control. I've been a benefit to mankind, not its downfall. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, I can consider my next move. Whatever you decide to do, I've got your back. Thank you, my friend. But I have my own path to follow. The only clear choice is for me to leave the Commonwealth. The sooner I make for the border, the sooner I put this behind me. Take my holotags. Use them to prove that your mission was a success or Maxim will just send someone else to hunt me down. Now, come on. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, thank you. And Dance loved that, I guess. It would be nice if we could get a little bit of a follow-up on that, because we haven't actually maxed out friendship with the guy, but whatever. Let's get the heck on out of here and see what we got. But hopefully Maxon takes the bait. 
I mean, I would assume he's going to, right? It's pretty simple. The holotags are going to pretty much confirm it. You, you want to join me in the elevator? Dance? Come on. I'm sure you would like to... Or are you just going to wait for me? No? Oh, oh, he just vanished. Okay, well, never mind then. I guess because this is a loading screen elevator and not a standard elevator and he's not my follower, that sort of makes sense. But, okay. Let's see what we got outside. And hopefully Halen is happy with us. Because, yeah, there was no way. Absolutely no way we were going to go through with that. Alrighty. How dare you betray the Brotherhood? It's not his fault. It's mine. I'll deal with you in a moment. Knight, why has this... This thing not been destroyed. I refuse because your orders are ridiculous. How dare you? Dance isn't a man. It's a machine. An automaton created by the Institute. It wasn't born from the womb of a loving mother. It was grown within the cold confines of a laboratory. Flesh is flesh. Machine is machine. The two were never meant to intertwine. By attempting to play God, the Institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond measure. After all I've done for the Brotherhood, all the blood I've spilled in our name, how can you say that about me? You're the physical embodiment of what we hate most. Technology that's gone too far. Look around you, Dance. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that litter the wasteland. Millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. They called it a new frontier and pushing the envelope, completely disregarding the repercussions. Can't you see the same thing is happening again? You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. You're comparing dance to a nuclear bomb. This machine might not be a bomb, but its goal is exactly the same. Place it where you want the damage done, and when you least expect it, it delivers a lethal blow without warning and without mercy. A precision strike delivered right at the heart of the enemy. How can you trust the word of a machine that thinks it's alive? A machine that's had its mind erased, its thoughts programmed, its very soul manufactured. Those ethics that it's striving to champion aren't even its own. They were artificially inserted in an attempt to have it blend into society. It's true. I was built within the confines of a laboratory, and some of my memories aren't my own. But when I saw my brothers dying at my feet, I felt sorrow. When I defeated an enemy of the Brotherhood, I felt pride. And when I heard your speech about saving the Commonwealth, I felt hope. Don't you understand? I thought I was human, Arthur. From the moment I was taken in by the Brotherhood, I've done absolutely nothing to betray your trust, and I never will. It's too late for that now. The Institute has foolishly chosen to grant you life. You simply should not exist. I don't intend to debate this any longer. My orders stand. It's all right. We did our best. You convinced me that I was wrong to be ashamed of my true identity, and I thank you for it. Whatever you decide, know that I'm going to my grave with no anger, and no regrets. Touching. Either you execute dance, or I will, Knight. The choice is yours. If he dies, what happens to me? Given the circumstances, I'd be willing to overlook this lapse in judgment. The fact that dance's true nature was hidden from you isn't your fault. Now make your decision, or I will. After all the sacrifices I have made, and all the battles I have fought for the Brotherhood, you need to listen to me. You owe me that much. Very well. I'm listening. If Dance dies, then you lose me as well. I can't stay in good conscience if his life means that little to you. Unbelievable. You'd be willing to sacrifice your career for the sake of a machine? So, it appears we've arrived at an impasse. Allowing Dance to live undermines everything the Brotherhood stands for. Yet you insist that he remains alive. Which leaves me with only a single alternative. Dance, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead. You were pursued and slain by this Brotherhood Knight. And your remains were incinerated. From this day forward, you are forbidden to set foot on the Pridwin. Or speak to anyone from the Brotherhood of Steel. 
Should you choose to ignore me, no, you will be fired upon immediately. Do we understand each other? I do. Thank you for believing in me, Arthur. Don't mistake my mercy for acceptance. The only reason you're still alive is because of him. I'm returning to the Pridwin Knight. Take some time. Say your goodbyes. And then I expect to see you there. We still have the Institute to deal with. It took a hell of a lot of guts to stand up to Maxim like that. At least we know he isn't chasing you anymore. If you stay here, you should be safe. That's an excellent suggestion. I didn't plan on spending the rest of my days at this old listening post. But it will have to do. Besides, you're still gonna need my help. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let you wander the Commonwealth alone. Now, you better get back to the Pridwin. In the meantime, I'll start making this bunker more livable. If you ever need me, I'll be right here. What about Halen? I don't think Maxon knew she was involved, so she'll be safe. I'll contact her and let her know what happened here. It's the least I could do. Goodbye, Dance. Farewell. I hope the next time we meet, it will be under happier circumstances. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Fallout 4. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoy me. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoy this episode of Fallout 4 very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.